So I am super excited today, y'all. We are over here in Moore County, Tennessee, and we're going to a cave that's right here behind me. It's rumored that it's actually owned by the Jack Daniels Distillery. It's got some pretty cool formations in it, so let's go check it out. There's one that's supposed to look like a heart. It's called uh, Billy's Beef Heart. So let's go see what it looks like and check out this cave, y'all. Come along with us. Look at all this beautiful spring water coming out of this cave. Super clear water. Beautiful entrance here. Lots of little trees around this entrance. Oh, I feel cold air. Cindy's already in it. All the water's coming out from right here. Going back out that way. bit of a crawl getting in here. This water's just pouring out. Notice these two little bats right here hugging. We want to be very quiet, not disturb them. So this area of the cave is where the original explorers stopped, probably in the 50s, because uh, they couldn't really find a way around this breakdown. But since explorers have, so we're going to continue on because we know it keeps going. Yeah, nothing's moving. <clears throat> it's just knee deep, it says, if we stayed in the water. I'm right behind you. I see a big pile of shit in there. Oh. Don't go high? No. Okay. a lot of poop in this cave. Poop everywhere from the raccoons. Wow, this is pretty. Big. So the rumor is that Jack Daniels bought this cave for the water source because we all know that they have a famous cave on their property at the distillery that they use the water for part of their making the whiskey. Um, and supposedly they bought this cave in the 1950s to have a backup water source for the whiskey making business. How cool is that? 
So we're having to get our feet just a little wet through here, walking through the water. Hmm. Harold's gonna climb up there, see what's all up in there. Some really nice formations right here in this area. Very pretty cave so far. There's a pretty wall of flowstone right here, the way it comes down. Such a cool cave so far. Pretty warm though. Definitely warm in here. This is a really pretty section through here. All the formations right there. I think they are about to get wet though. It's getting a little deeper. Well, my socks are already wet now. Wow, that's a really cool piece of, wow, that's big up there. Big blackness. Yeah, the, the water right there is a little deep. Well, it feels good, that water. It cools you down. This cave is really warm. So this right here is a large pile of bat guano. Yeah, a little bit so clearly bats have been using this cave for a very long time. That's a huge pile. And then that's where they would roost. You can see stains from where they would hang on the ceiling there. And then all their poop cool. would drop it's down. Cool. Oh, baby salamanders yeah, in the pool? Salamanders. Oh, there's one right here, too. Just right of there. Oh, wow. Look how tiny they are. So this pool of water is full of a bunch of baby salamanders. There's one there. One there. You see them all there? Those are probably about half an inch or smaller in length. It's pretty cool to see all these little baby salamanders. Not very much. No, you always want to be careful stepping pretty in these right pools there. because of that. Oh yeah, that is pretty. Look at this what really cool formation. Yeah. It's like some kind it's of it's like crystal. some kind of box work crystals all on the ceiling in here. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting uh, formation here. It's all. Is it coral? Look at this. Okay, I'll come look at it. Yeah, you can see right here from this one, it definitely looks like a some type of coral. Yeah, all that right oh, your there. Light, oh, coral pulse. All that right there. That's pretty cool. All that yeah, on the ceiling here. To right too, this I've never right seen here. this much coral in a in like that's in the ceiling anywhere. Look at that. Jesus. It's just everywhere on the ceiling through here. Really cool how you see different things in different caves. A little bit of gypsum right there. It's big. It's on the right wall. Yes, that is big, Rich's kids. Oh my god, that's funny. That's great. That's cool. That's pretty. That's like a. It's a oh, yeah, that definitely does look like a Hershey kiss. Dark chocolate and caramel. White chocolate, dark chocolate. Yeah, I can see how, how that looks like a Hershey kiss. Wow. Yes. With the gray on it. Looks like a wrapper. I think it's white chocolate, dark chocolate, and caramel. Well, this is a pretty area. It's got, it's got tan, dark brown, and white. Someone yeah, a bunch of. Yeah, it's been broken. A couple of them have been broken. I'm going to do a photo of this Hershey Kiss formation here. Check this out, y'all. This is a cool formation right there. It's got a little drip cup on it. This section is called Indian Camp because of all the totem poles in here. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
That's pretty right there on your right. All of that. That's really pretty. This is really pretty over here. All of this right here. All this flowstone. So according to the narrative, this cave ends in a big breakdown pile with the stream coming out from under it. So hopefully we'll go see that and check it out as well. It's probably right back here. This is probably the end right here. There's a lead right there. Oh, this goes. Oh, oh, lots of trippy water. Oh, it dead ends right there. Cindy went on the other side. Yeah, y'all take the other. She says there's air. All right, we'll go check it out. How wet did you get? No, just feet. No. Oh, yeah, still going. Yeah, I think over there where I was looking, this is the same area. Probably gonna have to come down there anyways. I don't think we're gonna be able to go much further. I mean, what is that in front of us? That big water slope. I see breakdown. But can you hear all that? It's like there's Shh. a room over there. Be quiet. Oh, it just sounds like a little cascade. Definitely is not going to go anymore up here. It pinches out. Yeah. Uh, pinches out. Yeah, the water comes off. Yeah, you hit. Yeah, I'll oh. let you look at this and you can kind of see. The water's just coming out of a hole in the rock. But oh. snap. I mean, you could get down there if you wanted to. Well, do you want to push it? I don't know. It doesn't look like it goes. You tell me. Give me your okay. opinion. All right, so we're back here at the back of the cave and it goes about another, I don't know, 20 feet to a very small hole where all the water is coming out of. We are definitely not fitting through that. Can you zap it? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> no, on the other side. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my backup light is in my pack. Feet under me. There we go. Good. Yep. low part. You can go check it out. No, 
There's some more of those fossils right here along this ledge. I don't know why they don't want Pretty cool. Oh yeah, that bat's flying around. We're gonna set up another shot right here for a photo. Let's see what we get. Really cool, pretty draperies right here. Walk around the Hershey Kiss formation. Our feet are already wet. Really cool to see the back side of this drapery here. So there's some really cool fossil stuff here. All on the ceiling. We're going to do a picture of this. Check this out. Really cool fossils. Really, really cool fossils all in the ceiling. This is called the jack o' lantern formation right here because of the orange color. This is really cool right here how it's dripping and it's orange in color. It's a pretty cool ceiling right up there, like a rotunda where all the water washed it all away. I think there's a, yeah. See that side passage? Mm -hmm. But it's near the beef heart. It's just too tight though, doesn't it? Yeah, where are we at? Pretty cool, all these fossils in the ceiling right here. Let's zoom in on those. Look at those. That's so cool. And then there's this one right here. Look at that. That's definitely some kind of old plant life fossil when all of this was the ocean floor. That's what this limestone is, y'all. Some more really cool fossils in the ceiling here. Look at those, pretty cool. There's a really, really big one right here. Look at that, that is so cool. This one's actually got crystals, crystals growing inside of that fossil. Those look pieces of It's grass. pretty awesome. bunch of balls in this thing over here that's what do you think created all those balls I don't know it's weird and then they're like there's a whole bunch over there too you can see them over there weird Ball, cool as balls bro cool. bro just making our way back out of the cave hopefully um, we're gonna make our way into a second cave today Back at this breakdown pile. What a really cool cave. Backup water supply for Jack Daniels Distillery. Lots of cool fossils, lots of cool formations. What a great cave. 
So over here, it looks like at some point, someone dammed up this water. Right there, you can see the rocks. Right there. Yeah, we're not very far from the Jack Daniels Distillery here in Moore County, Tennessee. What a cool cave.